I'm here at the Enid Fire Department with Captain Morgan. Captain Morgan, I'd like to thank you for your time here. I know you guys are busy. It's a pleasure. What are some of the things you do as a firefighter? Uh, we run EMS calls, uh, we run hazardous materials calls, motor vehicle accidents, uh, a lot of public service assistance. You'll see us out uh, flowing hydrants. We do annual hydrant testing and you'll see us out uh, basically opening and closing every hydrant in this city. Uh, we do police assistance if they need to do a welfare check. We'll unlock their door for them in somebody's house uh, without breaking it, hopefully. Mm -hmm. um, you name it, we do it. If somebody needs help, we're there to help them. Right. Well, what is your favorite part about being a firefighter? Uh, that would be helping people. We, we, every one of us here at the Union Fire Department we enjoy helping other people and it so happens we get paid for it so what is your most memorable experience as a firefighter uh, that would be a structure fire that we had uh, right after my fire academy I was uh, in academy for two weeks very intense training uh, there was a, a structure fire on the east side of town uh, involving a victim uh, a lot of fire Got to go in, put some fire out, and assist in rescuing the victim. Duty calls. Thanks for your time. Mm -hmm. Structure fire 1301 with oak. No flame scene. Black smoke showing. There are no occupants inside the residence at this time. Is it blast? 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 Is it blast?
firefighters must often change their air packs in order to effectively and safely be able to enter homes filled with smoke and put out fire. Once the flames have been knocked down, thermal imaging cameras can then be brought in to find hot spots or fire inside of walls or hidden in the ceiling that firefighters cannot see with their own eyes. These are thermal imaging cameras. And what this does is detect heat, hot spots uh, where we have potential fire still remaining. This is a, a pretty uh, valuable tool to can save us both time and energy. So. I'll let you see some of the hot spots, and you're going to see that. When arriving on scene of a motor vehicle accident, first responders must first check for head, neck, and spine injuries, as these can be worsened by moving the patient. Once the head, neck, and spine have been secured, the victim will then be placed on a backboard and moved to an ambulance to be transported to a hospital for further evaluations and additional medical care. Sometimes, in emergency situations, firefighters even have to clear landing zones and make them safe for helicopters to land for emergency medical evacuations or incoming medical patients via helicopter. One of the most important outreaches of a firefighter is public education. Firefighters go out along with the help of fire marshals and fire chiefs to help educate the public on fire prevention, what to do in case of a fire, and sometimes even show children what a firefighter looks like so they're not afraid in the event of a fire. So they will not be afraid of a firefighter coming to them in the smoke and flames to help rescue them. He does. He sounds a lot like Darth Vader. Okay. See if you can hear him. My name's Chase. I've been on the fire department since September. So, I'm the new guy. That's why I get to be here. <laughs> Thank you. Say yay, Chase. Come down the door. That's, that's an actress. Nope. It's called well, a little toy. These guys aren't gentle. We can pry with it. We can poke holes. We can break windows. We can use it to search because it makes your arm longer. Ready? Oh, okay. Hey, Star Wars it. Dead Eyes makeup. And remember, when you meet any first responder, Always shake their hand and thank them for the job they do every day, risking their lives to save your life, your property, because you never know when your life or your property could be in jeopardy.